So today we are going to be talking about species diversity um, and just a little bit of background before we get started with the calculations. Um, biological communities vary in the number of species they contain and knowledge of this number is important in understanding the structure of the community. Number of species in a community is, re uh, is referred to as species richness. Um, and the relative abundance of species is also important. Uh, so for example, you've got two communities, both of them may contain the same number of species, but one of those communities may be dominated by one species, while the other community may have a bunch of different types of species. The relative abundance of rare and common species is called evenness. So communities that are dominated by one or just a few species, like in an orchard or a Christmas tree farm, uh, you would have low evenness, while those that have a more even distribution of species have high evenness. Uh, species diversity includes both species richness and evenness. So communities with a large number of species um, that are evenly distributed Uh, are the most diverse. Uh, communities with just a few species are dominated by one are the least diverse. Um, so for some ecological investigations or research, it might be useful to measure diversity of just one taxonomic group, meaning that if a plant ecologist were looking at studying the species of plants, uh, they would measure plant diversity and then they wouldn't look at the other types of organisms. A uh, number of Different measures of species diversity have been proposed. Uh, this pre-lab explores two methods of measuring species diversity called the Simpsons Index and the Shannon Wiener Index. So the Simpsons Index um, says if you look at a community with high diversity and it was randomly sampled two times. So you go in and you pull out and you look at the type of species. Um, if it's a high diverse community, there's a really good chance that the samples are going to have two different types of types of species. But if a low diversity community were sampled twice, if you pulled two times two different organisms, it's likely that both of those samples will contain the same species. So if you go to a Christmas tree farm and you turn around in circles and close your eyes and you point at one tree and then you do it again and you point at another tree, there it's very likely that they'll both be the same tree that you end up pointing at, same type of tree. So the Simpsons Index has this equation below. Um, N stands for the total number of organisms. And then N minus 1 is the total number of organisms minus 1. And then you're going to divide that by the sum of the number of an individual species. So if you have, you know, 10 maple trees, that's the number of your individual species, even though there might be, you know, 70 different uh, organisms there total. And then again, same thing here, you're going to take the number of individual species minus one. And then you have to add that up for all the different types of species that you have. That's what this sigma stands for. This is um, the sum. So let's take a look at an example of this. So you can see the equation is there again for you. Um, if we're looking at the Simpsons index for this hypothetical community with the three different types of species, where our goal is to calculate ds or the diversity. So in order to first do that, we need to calculate n, which again is the total number of individuals of all the species. So we're going to take 32 plus 18 plus 12 um, and that gives you 62. So 62 total individuals or organisms. Um, and then to calculate ds we're just going to go ahead and plug in our values. Each of these values is an ni or a number of individual species. So our first portion of the equation is n, so 62, times n minus 1, so times 61. That's on top. And then on the bottom, we have to do the sum of all of the, bot of all of the individual ones. 
So we're going to start with uh, the beech trees, 32 times ni minus 1, 31. Plus, and we should really put this bottom portion in parentheses as well, um, then you do your maple trees, 18 times 17, plus 12 times 11. And this, so you have to multiply the top out first and you get uh, 3,782. And then you multiply each of these individual um, portions and you add that up and then you would get uh, 1430. And when you divide that, you get 2.64. To save time, I did the math for us ahead of time. So this value, you would then compare to the number of individual species in a different community. If this number is higher than the other community's number, then it is more diverse. If the other community's number is um, higher than this, then the other community is more diverse. So you just take a look at those end values and you compare them to see which one is more diverse. Then we take a look at the Shannon Wiener Index. Um, this is based on uncertainty. So the degree of uncertainty when predicting species of a random sample. So if you go in uh, into a forest or an area, you close your eyes and turn around, you point at a tree, um, that degree of uncertainty is related to diversity. If there's more diversity, you point at two different trees with your eyes closed, it's very likely that you're going to have different types of trees that you're pointing to um, in a diverse community. If it's not diverse, then they're probably going to be the same. And that's basically what this little paragraph says. So um, the Shannon Wiener Index of Diversity is calculated using a couple of different uh, constants. So this, again, just stands for the Index of Diversity. It's just the Shannon Wiener version of it instead of DS. This so once you realize that, then you can take a look at the remainder of the equation. So we have a negative sign here. This is important. And then you take the sum of this PI value, which is the proportion of individual species. Um, tricky thing about that is you just want to take um, the NI value or the, the number of individual species. And then um, you would divide that by your n value, your total number of organisms. Um, and then you're going to take the natural log of that same value and you multiply them together. Um, there's a, an implied multiplication sign here. And remember, you have to include that negative sign. In other words, you're going to get a different value. Um, so the Shannon Wiener index is often calculated using the natural log. There are other logs which you probably used in the past in math class, um, but we are going to make sure that we use the natural log function, um, which is uh, just like saying log base e as opposed to log base 10. We're not going to use that one. Um, so make sure you're careful when you plug that into your calculator. So we're going to take a look at an example with equation 2. Um, and I want to show you an example also of how to calculate PI. So you can see a couple of examples are done for you. The beech trees, you take the number of beech trees divided by the total number of individual or of the in, uh, organisms. You get 0.52. And then they also did a separate equation where they just take the natural log of the PI value and they got negative 0.65. So we're going to do the oak trees together. So you're going to take 12 divided by 62, and that value comes out to be 0.19. Then you take the natural log of that 0.19, and you get negative 1.66. So we're going to use those values now to help us with equation 2. So our H prime, or our species diversity index, is going to be calculated by taking, um, I'm going to do negative, and then I like to use a big parentheses here to show that they need to, um, that the sum needs to occur first. So the PI value for this first one is 0.52, put this one in parentheses also, 
times our natural log value, negative uh, 0.65 plus. Then we do this one, 0.929 uh, times negative 1.24 uh, plus, and then the last one that we just did, uh, 0.19 times negative 1.66. Once you've done the multiplication, um, then you can add them up. And your h prime, you get negative, uh, and then you have a negative in here from this value, 0.338 plus a negative 0.360 plus a negative 0.315. Now we can add them. H prime is equal to a negative times negative 1.01. And we know that a negative times a negative is a positive. 1.01 is our uh, Shannon Weiner value or Shannon Weiner value for the species diversity using equation two. Um, so we can compare this value to other Sharon Weiner values. Um, now we can also use instead of that equation two and instead of calculating all of those pi values we can just use this equation three which looks a little bit more complicated but it actually is technically easier because you don't have to do the pi values so in this scenario we've got again our n those total our total number of species or uh, organisms actually and then we're going to subtract the sum, again, that sigma means sum, of the num number of individual species times the natural log of the number of individual species. I'll just quote that down here. And then you have to divide it by the total number of species at the end. So looking at an example of what that is and why this is a little bit easier, we can go ahead and plug in uh, some values. So again, n equals 62 to big N because that's our total number of organisms. So this H prime is equal to, we're gonna take our 62 times the natural log of 62 minus, now we have to put the sum in big parentheses. Ni, our original Ni, our number of beech trees is 32 times the natural log of 32. Plus, now we look at our maple trees, 18 times the natural log of 18. Plus, our oak trees, 12 times the natural log of 12. So then let's continue to simplify. H prime, 62 times the natural log of 62 gives us 255.88 minus, then we can do each of these individual ones and we get uh, 110.90 plus 52.03 plus 29.89. And then I did, or sorry, 0.82. And we did these calculations ahead of time to make sure that we had plenty of time to show you the manipulation. And then I've actually left off here that all of this is going to be divided by 62. So then we can add up what's in the parentheses. Our H prime is equal to 255.88 minus 192.75, all divided by 62. And then when we simplify that down, we will get 1.02 which is very, very close to, off by just a hundredth, um, very close to the equation two answer. And um, the only difference between those two is just a little rounding issue. Um, so basically they're the same value. So now you know um, how to calculate the various um, species diversity indexes and you're going to use what you've learned to calculate those indexes for uh, the other individual communities listed below. Good luck.